back <clears throat> to the channel and today now I have to announce something first hold on let me mute this real quick I have to announce something first so in one of my streams I said that I would um play Far Cry 2 right after I beat Outlast 2 so about that I'm not going to play Far Cry 2. Instead, I'm going to start on uh, Battlefield, a Battlefield series that I'm going to do. Because Far Cry 2 takes an insane amount of time to do. That also, there's no way of fast traveling, which means you can open your map and go to that one location that you need to go to. You can't do that in Far Cry 2. So, I'm going to skip over Far Cry 2. I'll save that for an another video. Sometime I'll probably get to that later or sooner or whenever I can but now we'll focus on Battlefield because Battlefield is very good um I have to install like the rest of them besides Battlefield 2042 yeah we don't talk about that uh you know disgrace of a Battlefield game because every Battlefield game's good uh Battlefield 2042 is awful uh Battlefield 5 just no Battlefield 5 it is good like, I could play it. But the multiplayer is just so annoying. Like, that's all I have to say. It's just that multiplayer is annoying. I can do uh, Battlefield 1's campaign and multiplayer. But that's a different story. Either way, let's get back into the game. And if you um, hear it being very loud, I'm sorry. I can't change that. Because it's stuck like that. So, here we go. Storm of Steel, and this is the first level and first mission in the game. The prologue, as it would probably be called. Like, I could skip over it, but I don't think I can. Nor should I, because this game has amazing, like, amazing looks to the... Thing. It looks good and all, but yeah. Now I can't screen record my videos on a comp on my Chromebook. I can edit them on my Chromebook. Now, if I get copyright for this video because of the music use in the intro, I am sorry, because I can't do anything about that. And I will tell you something, that this is based upon, Battlefield 1 is based upon events that unfolded in over a hundred years ago, more than six million soldiers fought in this war, that the war to end all wars, it ended nothing because you still got the war going on in Ukraine, yet yeah, nothing changed. Yet yeah, it changed the world forever because it changed the war from here changed nothing because all that happened is that there's still a war in Ukraine, obviously. But yeah, I mean, it changed to something. We are now allies with Germany who is, uh, the axes that we had to fight in World War II. But yeah. If you're really focused on like war type of stuff, I'd recommend it, uh, National Ge no, not National Geographic, the History Channel. And the game tells you that you're not that you're not expected to survive, and even if you do survive, which is very unlikely, which is very unlikely, you you literally will not survive. Like, I can crank up the FOV on here, but what's the fun in that? Because, yeah. Mm. 
15k. Almost out of ammo. There should be a flamethrower guy coming in soon. Only got 30 rounds left, so we better make this count. I'm not going down without a fight just yet. I managed to take down like three people there. You can't hear it, I'll turn it up a little. Like, right there, that's good. Yeah, Battlefield is a very good game. Now, here's the thing. For Battlefield 2042, though it may be so bad, they're updating the game, finally. So yeah, they're updating the game to where it's uh, going to, like, make it very much more less laggy and more times where you can actually, uh, you know, get into a game lobby and play. Dang it. No killing machines like the tank changed the shape of the war overnight. Luckily, they were mostly on my side. Mostly. Yeah, now we're getting inside of the tank. And I'm only going to do this mission and probably two more tomorrow. Since tomorrow, um, is Friday and I can, you know, stream slash record, I probably won't stream, but I will record only a little because I can record like two of them, like two missions probably. Uh, yeah. Though Battlefield is actually a very good game. Highly recommend that you actually play it because it is, uh... You know, recommended that you play Battlefield. The best one is Battlefield Hardline. I actually do recommend that you play Battlefield Hardline. If you can, buy it. Go to Game Exchange. If you, uh, if you either own a PlayStation or Xbox, uh, you're going to need a hard drive to play Battlefield Hardline. I will say that. You're going to need a, uh, hard drive. To play Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 4, I will say you need uh, one of those to play both of them. How do I know? Because I have a 360 and I do have it, so yeah. I've only made it past like the first two missions. I haven't really gotten far into the campaign. I do like the campaign. The reason why, it's because it's like, think about a um, game where... So, think about a movie or TV show. Actually, no, a TV show, preferably. Because it's basically kind of the description of this. So think about a TV show. On how you have to, um... 
like when you finish an episode of a TV show and it says next time on whatever show you're watching that's basically what it says it would just say next time on hardline and then it would say when you've like exited a mission it's going to say next time on hardline but when you've completed a mission and then you exit the game entirely and then turn back on the game it's going to say something else instead it's going to say um it will just say uh previously on hardline like that type of stuff that's where i love stuff like that like stuff like that it just makes it good Edward Marshall. You people can't kill me. Yes. Mission completed. Just me? And one German just left. They push. We push. Every once in a while, we push hard enough that the light breaks through the cloud. So the world beyond the war glimmers. Just out of reach.
And as you can see, you can see my um, curtain in the back. Dang, I really wish, like, I could have something to cover it. Then that would also mean I have to cover my uh, lights in the back. But yeah. Through mud and blood, storm of steel. No, storm of steel, through mud and blood, friends in high places. Big ideas I don't know what the heck the that other one is. The runner, and then nothing is written. All. There was no all of those fight. missions are in the correct time. But here's the, th the thing. Is that uh, one of them is put in a different uh, section. Hold on. This one is... We thought the war was to be our but it doesn't show. Yeah, one of them takes place in a different year. So, theoretically, you have to play through different stories to figure out what story it is. So yeah, uh, this is where I have to go. I'm sorry y'all, the video was short. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more videos in the future. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.